Hi, I'm Ashley. I work for the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. In today's artistic creation lesson, we're making Chihuly cups. Dale Chihuly is a well-known Washington glass sculptor whose work is included in more than 200 museum collections around the world, including ours. His aunt Marie Magnuson lived in East Wenatchee and she was instrumental in bringing him to the Wenatchee Valley Museum in 1994 for a major exhibition of his work. The exhibit was dedicated to his uncle Harold Magnuson and our permanent Dale Chihuly collection is dedicated to the memory of both Marie and Harold. It even includes this piece from his well-known Machia series. Glass blowing is a glass forming technique involving inflating molten or melted glass into a bubble. The liquid state of glass where atoms are held together by strong chemical bonds in random and disordered networks makes it viscous or thick and sticky enough to be blown into a new shape. And it gradually hardens into a solid as it loses heat. Well, we're not actually going to be working with molten glass today, but we can create Chihuly inspired art with plastic cups. So all you'll need are some clear plastic cups. They can be various sizes, some Sharpies or other permanent markers, a baking sheet, tin foil, an oven, and an adult to help. Let's go. Once you have all your supplies ready, you're gonna um, go over to the oven and um, preheat the oven for 350. And while your oven is preheating, then you can go ahead and take some cups. I have a couple different sizes here and um, we're gonna just take any color you want and start drawing um, lines. And I'm gonna do a pretty thick line and make sure that I go all the way around the cup, drawing my, coloring in my lines. So it's just gonna be a, a colorful striped cup, cup when we're done with it. So here is my first one. So I'm gonna pick another color for my next stripe. And some of the lighter colors are harder to see, but I think once we're done, they'll stand out too. So it's okay if on the cup, it's a little bit lighter in color, but just keep it going until you get all the way around like that. And I'm gonna just keep picking color combinations and different patterns of stripes. Once I am done um, coloring my stripes, I'm going to take some colors and color the inside bottom of the cup. Once I've got my cup painted, I am going to take some tin foil and put it on my baking sheet. Then I'm going to put my cup on and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do some more until I have enough to put in the oven. All right, 
Once you've got your cups ready on your baking sheet with tin foil, then it's time to put them in the oven and you want to watch them carefully. The oven is preheated to 350 and it only takes a minute or two. So you want to watch it the whole time. I'm going to turn the light on in my oven so I can see really well um, what's happening to the cups. And as it heats up, the um, cups are going to start to melt and drop and that's when you want to take it out. Okay, so let's start. Here we're watching as the cups start to melt and they haven't dropped yet, but you can see around the edges where they're starting to curl. Once the chihuly cups have collapsed, then you just carefully take them out of the oven to cool off. It only takes a minute or two for the chihuly cups to cool down. And I really do think it looks like blown glass. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had as much fun making chihuly cups as I did. And I hope you'll visit the museum. Our summer hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come on down and check out our Dale Chihuly collection for yourself. Bye.